Those that are able, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Uniform personnel, right stand, hold! I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Be seated. Good morning. Follow the county sheriff's office and the fire department's hundred dollar along with Retired New York City Shields of Georgia would like to welcome and thank you for attending today. We want our fallen brothers and sisters along with their families to know that we will not forget. <coughs> we'll continue to remember our service members who continue to fight for our country. And at this time, I'd like to introduce to you Chaplain Jonathan Woodward to give us any advice. Ready, let's pray. Father, we thank you this morning for breathing the breath of life in each one of us. 
as we come to remember this tragedy that, Lord, I hope I never see again in my lifetime. I pray for those who were directly involved and those who lost their lives in the middle of making their lives. They came upon this time, and I know even today that their families still mourn their loss. Those who gave their lives. Lord, we pray for this country, and we ask that you would hear our prayers, that you would set our world right. Lord, give us everything that we stand in need of. May we always remember you on bending knee. We ask all this in your son's name. Mr. Murphy. Tim Murphy is going to come up and speak to us. Uh, he's with the New York City Retired Shields of Georgia, so he's going to have a few words for us this morning. Thank you. You know, last year we stood here, it was 10 years, it was a big anniversary, um, you know, easy to remember on those 5s, 10s, 15, 20, 25s, um, but here it is, the 11th anniversary, and it's, you know, it's no less important on the 11th or the 13th or the 15th or the, or the 20th. Um, I want to thank everybody here, I want to thank the uh, Baldwin County Fire Department, the Sheriff's Department, um, the Legion Riders for, for making it here today, as well as our, uh, our, our commissioners, uh, David Lustin, is he? Brother David there, where is he? Somewhere here. Oh, there he is. <laughs> um, I want to thank them for coming out. Um, it's always good to have our leaders out here, as well as all of you uh, from other departments that have shown up today. Um, again, we're here uh, to remember uh, those that died that day, responders as well as civilians, as well as the, the military that had perished that day in the, down in the Pentagon. Um, but also, since that day, uh, well over 500 New York City responders have uh, perished from their, their illnesses also. Um, just recently that comes to light because of most of them died of some sort of cancer. Um, most of us have seen that on TV the last day or two. So it's, it, it's something big uh, <clears throat> to realize that it's not just the responders, but also civilians that have, have perished since that day. And we have over 6,000 uh, military that have fought valiantly for the last 11 years or 10 years of uh, fighting for our freedoms. And uh, it, it's those men and women uh, that I want to thank today also because uh, without them we don't have our freedom. Again, we couldn't be doing what we're doing here today. This time we'll have our brief presentations.
I'm going to read a poem. Uh, it's titled In the Line of Duty. It's an unknown author, but uh, it kind of rings true to what we're here for today. In the line of duty is how the saying goes, but duty goes much farther than anyone could know. For duty is a hollow word when heart is what they give, men and women who gave their lives so someone else could live. Protecting, serving faithfully, they listen to their call, becoming the fallen heroes, the ones who gave their all. Oh, how the words ring true for them who gave all they could give in the line of duty so someone else could live. Five 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 was used to signify when an engine crew returned to the firehouse. In time, with the advent of radios and telephones, the signal five 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 was used to signal the loss of a brother firefighter. In Fire Department New York, due to the size of the department, their signal had been five 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 five. For years, this signal was always sounded for the death of each firefighter. 1978, after the famous Walmart's fire, those bells sounded 120 times to signal the loss of six firefighters. But on September 11, 2001, for the only time in recorded history, those bells were silent. The loss of 343 brave firefighters in the rubble of the terrorist attack left too few to hear the sound and no time to mourn. To honor those brave souls, we will sound not our own 555, five, five, but the Fire Department of New York signal of 5555. Five, five, five. May their spirits soar like eagles. May their legacies remain strong and the memories of their courage and dedication remain in our hearts. Uniform personnel! Chaplain Turner with Paulding County Fire Department will be giving us our closing prayer, and then Sheriff Village will have some closing remarks. 
Would you bow your heads and pray this place? Our Father, we thank you for this day that we're living in today, that we can unite together, regardless of viewpoints, regardless of what goes on in our lives, we can unite on this day to remember those who lost their lives and remember those families. And I pray today, Father, that we will never just let this become a ritual, but we will always remember what happened that day, September 11, 2001. I thank you for each man and each woman who is here today again to honor and to remember. And I pray your hand be upon those families, many here today that were there on that day, September 11. I pray for their families, for their strength. And I pray that we will always support them, hold them up, and encourage them to keep going. We are blessed today to be living in the United States of America, and I thank you for that privilege. And again, I pray, keep your hand upon each one today as we go forth. Of course, in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Everybody's coming out today to take this service. Uh, you don't know what it means to a lot of us. Uh, you, you may never know. If you, if you don't mind, I'd like to read just uh, one little Bible verse. It's John 15 and 13. This greater love hath no man than to lay down his life for his fellow man. May God bless you and your families and thank you for attending today. 